everyone in crypto is chasing that elusive 100x potential project. But what if we told you that, that there is a hidden gem lurking in the shadows of the crypto market? An unheard of altcoin with massive potential and maybe that 100x project you need to have in your portfolio. If you don't believe the hype, well, I advise you to buckle up because today we are going to unveil the identity of this project. Many of you will, of course, already know that we are huge on this project. We believe that this is the next big thing in crypto and gaming. It is, of course, Pikamoon. Now, yes, we are bullish on this project, and this one in itself had a simply fantastic launch. As we can see, over 816.67% gains from its initial launch. Having a small pullback, we then seen this rally on another 181.25%. Now, yes, it has now corrected down with the rest of the market, but corrections gives you an opportunity to drive that next run to the upside to make great gains. And I think this one is on the cusp of that next explosive move. But we're not just going to focus short term, we're going to look long term. Is it that 100x potential project? And we, of course, want to compare it to others in the space that are well established. Perhaps these others don't have as good a team, as good tech, and are making as many groundbreaking moves as the team over at Pika Moon are doing. Linked in the description down below is the latest podcast from the Pika Moon team. And as you can see on the screen here, guys, Episode 2 of the Pika Moon podcast is now available. Head on over to their X page, watch it on their YouTube channel, a whole host of options for checking out this phenomenal podcast. And I don't say that lightly. I love a podcast, but the work that these two guys did on this podcast is simply fantastic. A great team over there. We, of course, speak with them very regularly. We're big advocates of the team, the work they're doing, the developments, and they go into all of this in the podcast that has just been posted, talking about the launch and some hidden secrets that they have now unveiled all within the podcast. I can't talk highly enough of it, guys. I encourage you to head on over and check it out, linked, of course, in the description down below. Now, of course, for a project to 100x, it's going to demand an incredible amount of investment within it. But when we talk about Pikamoon, we have to understand that the demand has not yet came into the project. In the podcast that they have recently done, they're talking about the new marketing campaign. And this is the option right now, this moment in time, to get in on Pika before the influencer in stream of Pika Moon comes mainstream. Now, what I mean by that is the marketing focus that the Pika Moon team have now unveiled in that podcast is indicating the amount of eyes that are going to be on this project. And we already know the game is still in beta mode. The full version is not yet released, but there is some alpha in the podcast that, again, I encourage you to head on over and check out. Everything is there that you need to know. But we want to talk about Pikamin's potential and the elusive 100x, the amount of inflows that will be required. Well, we already know that that market cap still has some way to go. Heading on over to CoinMarketCap, we can see that Pikamoon is trading at 0.18%, down 0.66% for the day. But that market cap sitting at just $13.6 million. That alone tells us there is a vast amount of growth still to come to Pikamoon's market cap. At just $13.6 million, there is a tremendous amount of growth still to come. We already know that the supply is not fully yet on the market. Just 7.5 million Pico tokens are circulating 15% of their total supply. And that is not a bad thing at all. We already know that rounds two and rounds one of the pre-sale have not yet been released. But the incentive to hold those tokens outweigh the possible scenario of selling. Now, what I mean by that, if you were to sell the tokens right now after that pre-sale, yes, you would make a profit. But holding the tokens gives you so much more potential. The NFTs that are coming to Pikamoon heavily outweigh the profits that are already on the table. And this is bullish. The potential value of these NFTs have been touted. I'm not going to put numbers on them. They're not yet here, and I don't think that is the right thing to do. But I do believe that the potential value of these NFTs so heavily outweighs the growth that we have already seen for this project. And I think 
many others invested in this are of the same thoughts. But the added bonus, the added kicker that we also have here is the tremendous staking platform that is coming. We already know that we can stake Pika when this launches for a 12 month period at 77% APY. Now the question begs, are you going to sell and make a minor amount of profits, whether it's six, seven or 800%? Or are you going to stake it, earn that 77% for one year stake where we will be in an even more bullish market within a year's time. That alone is a huge incentive. Added in the factor, the NFTs that are going to be dropped to holders from that pre-sale, I am not concerned about the possibility of a pullback when we know that rounds two and rounds one of the pre-sale are dropped on the market. Bringing that current supply higher and higher is a good thing. I expect to see the TVL of Pika increase time over time, and I expect to see that price reflect this. But when we also look at a similar project, one that I think Pika has a better team, has better fundamentals, and ultimately going to have a better game than, is of course having a look at Alluvium. Now we know Alluvium kicked on very well in the last bullish market. We are going to take a look at that. But what we do already know is Alluvium have a market cap of 463 million, a tremendous growth in its market cap. Yes, their supply is smaller, the circulating supply has not fully finished. That has not yet reached the total supply. And as we can see, that max supply has not been listed. Now to me, a project with no max supply is concerning. I don't love to see it. We see it time and time again, and that is reflected in my portfolio. There are very few projects in there with no max supply, but we know that Pika Moon in itself has got a max supply. 50 billion tokens will of course be the maximum supply for Pika Moon no more will ever be minted. These will obviously drop down over time. That circulating supply, once it's fully there, will drop down over time. So this, of course, will be deflationary. When we look at the likes of Alluvium, that doesn't have the same potential. So we know that the growth may not be there anymore for Alluvium, further than what we have already seen. Previously, I was very bullish on Alluvium. I still am. I still think it's a good project. I still think it's going to be a great game. But I think Pikamoon is one, going to be a better project, two, have better returns, and three, be a better game. Now, when we do look at the price chart for Alluvium on the weekly gate.io, we can see that this done 6,586% from its launch. Just 161 days, Alluvium managed to have such a fantastic run. But arguably, Pikamoon is a better game. I actually don't think it's going to be an argument. We, of course, have seen snippets so far. And the alpha that was dropped in the podcast, I'm not going to spoil it. I encourage you to watch that one. Points in every direction that Pikamoon is going to be a more superior game. A more superior game will have more investment. More investment, of course, leads to more gains. So 6,586% for Pikamoon, I think, is definitely a possibility. Alluvium, of course, done that in 161 days. And that same kind of time frame has an advantage here for Pikamoon. That would take us all the way here to the 30th of August 2024. Now, of course, it is not a competition. It is not a race. Some folk may see it that way. I personally do not. I don't care how long a project takes to get there. Yes, if it gets there sooner, that's fantastic. But time is on the side of Pikamoon. Entering into the market here, bullish or bearish, regardless, Pikamoon has done fantastically well. Over 816% in gains in such a short period of time shows you the power behind this project. And I think it's just leading on to that bullish pump. Now in the intro, I of course spoke about a potential 100% and how this may be your last buying opportunity. But what we can see right here, yes, this being the daily chart, peak amount in itself has came down into a critical area. This point here, I would like to see held as support. This may be your last opportunity to get into peak amount before this one, ironically, moons. I do think the great potential is there for Pika to do something unbelievable. And I don't think you want to sleep on this one, guys. Check out the podcast. The main alpha is right there. And you will understand why I and so many others in our community are incredibly bullish on this fantastic project. I do hope you have enjoyed today's update on Pika Moon. As you can tell, I'm incredibly bullish on this one. There is no FUD here. We as Cheeky Crypto are incredibly bullish on here. The team over at Pikamoon are doing a fantastic job working tirelessly to make this the best game in the world. 
constant developments, everything going on with the offices, everything you need to know, of course, is in that podcast linked in the description down below. I encourage you to head on over there and check it out. And I also encourage you to check out this morning's update for XRP, which is a very interesting take on XRP's future, one that you do not want to miss. That video is right here, guys. I encourage you to head on over there and check it out.